you know, it's a world of opposites. All the traditions say that. Taoism says it, Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianity. In the Quran, there's a verse that says, God says, of everything we have created, we have created opposites. So you might know only God is one. Meaning, so in my life, I will experience joy. I'll experience sorrow. I'll experience highs. I'll experience lows. And in those times of difficulties, I might feel that I am becoming separated from divinity. Mm. I'm not experiencing the, the ecstasy, the joy, the beauty of presence. But that is why all the traditions say that whether you are in a situation where there is joy or sorrow, ups and downs, trials and tribulations, good times and bad times, just be present. Be present. Learn the art of being present and you will eventually will find your way into that divinity. Uh, sometimes more easily, sometimes with some difficulty. But mm. keep on track. You, as Americans say, you know, keep on trucking. So can I be, can I be present? That's very important. Mm. Uh, it, it's easy for me to say that. But no, in times of difficulties, I'll have doubts. I will bemoan. I will you know, have, have different kinds of thoughts, different kinds of behavior. But if I can somehow keep the faith and be present, I will really feel uh, the, the presence of divinity. And by the way, uh, it, it doesn't mean that life is going to be easy for me. It, it doesn't mean that I will experience joy all the time. There is a very famous story of a Bedouin who was asked, do you believe in God? Do you believe in the presence of divinity? And he answered, you mean the God who sent me afflictions, pain, sorrow, poverty, made me wander from country to country to country. But as he spoke, he entered into a state of ecstasy. Oh